Hey everybody, it's me, Sasha Adams, owner of Brows and Brides by Pink, a full service waxing and makeup studio in Queens, New York, and the House of Pink, a bath and body, an all natural bath and body product line specializing in after wax care. Um, today's video, we are going to talk about why it's important to continue your waxing regimen even when it's cold outside. So yeah, the weather's starting to get a little cold, um, and we have had some snow out here in New York as of late, um, but that does not mean that your waxing has to stop. You have to remain consistent with your every four week or once a month um, waxing schedule, and I've got a couple of reasons why that is important. So um, reason number one when you just quit cold turkey for the winter months um what you're doing is interrupting your hair cycle and of course hair grows on a specific cycle that i won't get into it's just it's you know there's four uh different ways and then there's anaphase prophase all this other jargon that uh you really don't need to know but basically what happens when you wax is it creates um, a cycle of hair removal. The hair grows back in finer, it grows back in thinner, and the follicle itself, it gets damaged every time you pull the hair out. And that's what causes um, the thinness and the fineness of the hair until it just stops growing completely. But when you quit cold turkey, what you're doing is you're actually, um, causing the follicle to be able to mend and it can reverse the cycle that thins the hair, causing the hair to come back the same way. We don't want that. Um, now, all of these reasons that I'm uh, going to be telling you, they actually all tie into each other, which is crazy. When I started writing uh, out my notes, I realized that everything kind of ties into each other. So you're interrupting the hair cycle. That's number one. Number two, there is the risk of ingrown hairs increasing. Now, because of the fact that you're not exfoliating at all, because we know that if you haven't waxed, you're definitely not going to be exfoliating. And my Coochie Care Pre- pre-post wax scrub is sitting either in the bathroom or on top of a cabinet or inside of a cabinet and you're not even looking at it. I bet you. So of course you're not exfoliating, you're not coming in and getting wax, which is an actual exfoliation as well. So the risk of you getting ingrown hairs will increase. Now, um, reason number three actually ties into reason number two. So reason number three is drier skin. Um, uh, lately, my wife has been complaining about um, having dry patches under, you know, around her nose and around her mouth. And I had to explain to her, well, honey, it is winter. So you're going to need to up your moisturizer on your face a little bit more, um, partly because number one, it is cold outside. And then you're coming in from the cold into the artificial heat. So your skin is gonna bug out quite a bit. Also down there, the same thing is happening. There's no exfoliation happening because you're not coming in and waxing every month. Um, there's no exfoliation happening because since you're not coming in for your wax, you're definitely not using your exfoliator. Dry skin is going to start to build up. And that is where it ties into uh, reason number two with the risk of ingrown hairs increasing. Why? Because the dry skin, the flakes are going to fall into the pores, clogging them and causing ingrown hairs. Um, if you watched my last video, the ingrown hair chat video, uh, where I talk about how dry skin can contribute to um, ingrown hairs. So that's number three. So number one is you interrupt the hair cycle. Number two, the risk of ingrown hair increases. Number three, you are going to get drier skin, which in turn will increase the risk of ingrown hairs. Okay. Uh, reason number four, it will lower your pain tolerance. Because of the fact that number one, you're interrupting the hair cycle and the follicle is healing and it will hold on 
to that hair a little bit tighter as in prior to you starting your waxing. So basically what you're doing is reversing the entire cycle, reversing everything that you've done, all the work that you've put in for the last, you know, six, seven months that it was warm and you're reverting the hair back to its original uh, state, okay? And you don't wanna do that because then when you finally decide, okay, great, the weather's getting warm again, let me start back waxing, and you lay on the table and I see what's going on, it is going to hurt, promise you, it's gonna hurt. So you have to remain on your cycle. Um, and the fifth and last reason is your clothing layers because we are wearing more and more layers of clothing. Sometimes we're wearing leggings underneath pants or long johns underneath pants, and that can also cause friction, which takes us back to number two, the risk of ingrown hairs increasing. But that also can contribute to number three because you're probably not lotioning your skin as much and all those layers of clothes are going to loosen the dry skin on your legs and in the crotch area where the hair can fall into those follicles. I'm sorry, the dry skin can fall into those follicles causing ingrowns. So everything ties into each other. You interrupting the hair cycle, the risk of ingrown hairs increases drier skin which will cause the risk of ingrown hair to increase your pain tolerance will be lowered which uh, can come from you interrupting the hair cycle which was reason number one and your clothing layers can cause friction which also can cause drier skin which also can cause the risk of ingrown hair to increase as I'm telling you guys basically don't interrupt your waxing cycle. Stay on a consistent basis of every four weeks. I have clients that unfortunately sometimes will miss a week or miss two weeks because uh, Mother Nature came calling or um, they had to cancel their appointment due to some sort of emergency. And when they come back in after six, seven or eight weeks, they notice that it is a tiny bit more painful when they wax. Why? Because the cycle of waxing has been thrown off by two to three to four weeks. So all I'm saying, this whole video, is basically to let you guys know how important it is to continually wax all year round. Yes, I know you may not want to travel to your waxer in the snow. Yes, I know it can probably be a little bit of a hassle, but if you want to continue to have smooth, clean, clear skin, you're going to need to stay consistent with not only your waxing, but with your aftercare. Because I know sometimes I do it, I'm lazy with it sometimes, and I make the shit. So I can see that once winter comes around and you're not waxing, you're not gonna use your pre-post scrub. You're not gonna use your exfoliating gloves. You're not gonna use your pink's potion. You're not gonna use your moisturizer either. So, unless your skin is smooth and freshly waxed, you have more of an incentive to consistently use your aftercare, therefore preventing any sort of ingrowns, friction, uh, all of that good stuff, okay? So once again, you guys, it is very, very, very important for you to continue your waxing regimen all year round, 12 months a year, once a month, you have to continue to do it. It's literally one 15 minute appointment, especially with me, it's one 15 minute appointment once a month, every month. It's that simple. It really is. It, it, there's, it's that simple. Just continue on with your regimen, guys. And I mean, I'm not trying to be mean <laughs> or seem angry <laughs> because I do have my clients that continue on a consistent basis. But then I also have clients that tend to disappear once the weather gets a little colder and then they reemerge 
out of hibernation once the weather gets warmer. So I'm just letting you guys know, it will be much easier on your coochie if you just stay consistent. Consistency is key. Thanks so much for uh, giving me these uh, 10 minutes <laughs> to talk about how important staying consistent with your waxing is. And I will see you guys on the wax bed. Stay smooth.